What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Javi. For those that don't know me, my girl's behind the camera. Um, hopefully pretty soon she could, you know, we could alternate uh, once we start doing more vlog videos. But today we're going to be doing a uh, install on these uh, Alpha Rex headlights for my uh, Sierra. This is going to be from 2015 to 18 models. So um, I wanted to do a how-to because there isn't many uh, videos on these headlights specifically. I'll pop them out and show you guys what they, uh, which ones I ended up going with. I know I said I didn't want to modify this truck too much, but one thing I really enjoy is a nice clean uh, uh, projector pattern beam, which these are good. But on my F-150, I had more Emotos, so I, you know, I just missed that that clean, crisp look. So I ended up picking these up. They looked really nice. I wasn't feeling the more Emoto ones too much, and plus it was like a thousand dollar difference, which, you know, I'm planning to keep this truck for you know, not too long, but I don't want to invest too much money into it. So we went with these. So I did post a, a little poll that's the name of it right yeah a poll on my instagram to see if you guys were interested in checking it out and uh, i got some pretty good feedback from it so here it goes i'm going to show you guys the headlights and then get started like i said i am going to do a how-to just because even alpha rex i haven't seen them do any uh any any good videos for the uh, 2015 and up, 15 to 18 headlights. I've seen a lot of the older, one generation before these, I think it's 13 to 15. I've seen a lot of the headlights, but not, not many of these. That's why I kind of said why not and do the video. So I went with these. Of course, like the FRS, they always give you a harness and uh you know some good stuff but these are the headlights i'm not gonna peel this off till, till uh, they're done but uh i mean they're clean i think this is the left side yep sorry about that so um this is the left side i went with the chrome instead of all black just to kind of uh give some some touch on the chrome on the grill like I said, I wasn't thinking of doing too much to this truck, but headlights, especially when we take those those traveling traveling uh, trips, when we tow the cars around, I want to you know be able to see at night, you know, better than the stock. So I went with this. So stay tuned, guys, and hope you guys enjoy this video. Alright, so first thing is to remove this plastic panel. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve clips. So pop those open. Flathead or little pry tool. I was using the flathead, but since these have never been taken off, I went with the little pry tool. Uh, when the engine's dirty like this, debris and stuff tends to get in, get into these, and it's, it becomes a hassle to take them off. So this this will do the work. All right, so after those uh, those clips, pull this out, set it aside, and then there's one, two, three, four bolts that need to come out for the grill. So these are 
10 millimeter. One, two, three, four. And then the grill pops out with clips. So you start off from this corner. So you pop. 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 And that's the grill. So, here's the next part that's tricky. This section, you have to remove this bolt and this one. I'll tell you the. Uh, the socket on this is probably like a seven or a six. So you remove that. And then this, this guy up here is a T, uh, T6. Yep, T6. So after you remove the seven millimeter and the T6, you're gonna pull this. Say about, that should be good. You move this off to the side. You are gonna need double-sided tape for these two. I don't know why GM made it like that. That's what you're gonna need. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this this section but there is a 10 millimeter bolt here that should loosen up this piece and for this piece it's a little weird you kind of got to go get in there and pry it out. There's some clips. So you got to pull a little bit and press. Press press it down and pull pull it up at the same time. Let me get a flat head. releases there's two and three so it's three clips I'm gonna clean this off then this piece is free oh actually there's one more on the side same thing and it releases So this is why this side has to be to move. Oh. Let's let this slide out. So this part is a little weird because it seems like it's stuck, but you somehow have you have to bring it, angle it, and pull it. little weird how they how they did this piece so this sits under there it's like a sleeve so then the headlight has one one bolt here one bolt here down here one bolt up here and then one bolt here so let me take care of those And these are 10 as well. 
two on the top, one on the side, and one right here tucked away. Might need an extension for that. So that's four, and the headlight should come out, but there is a little clip here. You kind of pry it up. I'm gonna use a flathead. There you go. Then disconnect. So my, my headlight does have a HID. So, of course, I'm going to disconnect this. I'm sure your guy, if you guys have an HID, y'all do the same. If you guys have a regular bulb, bulb, then all you guys will be disconnecting is your harness. So, this headlight comes up. So, out with the old, in with the new. I am going to be running my HID, my HID on this one. Uh, just because I didn't want to spend too much on this truck and buy the ones that come with the uh, built-in LED these are the uh, pro series I believe so they come with the halogen bulb but I'm gonna go ahead and put my HID on there to make this projector look good yeah sweaty we're in Houston it's hot 93 degrees plus humidity is like 100 but uh, so moving forward I ran the cable they gave you shit mm -hmm. to the battery uh, it's a harness so you hook up the uh, negative to your negative terminal your power to your pow uh, red terminal plus minus uh, and then this cable, it's a fuse tap-in, uh, but my fuse box is over there. This is for your non uh, Denali versions, uh, like for this one. This one doesn't have daytime running lights, so that's what this is going to get hooked up to a fuse. I'm going to have to cut it and run it back. And tap it to a fuse box i'll show you guys later hopefully i have wire but you just put this you know nice and organized here i'm gonna run it under here all the way down well, actually i'll just show you guys so you just run this wire through here and then I'll probably run this through this small section so it'll be nice and clean and they'll come out to the headlight so unfortunately this is a different bulb size this is a H7 the uh, factory it's uh, 9006 so I'm gonna have to get a uh, H7 HID bulb which is okay but this is only for you guys that don't have uh, that didn't get the up updated uh, upgraded version I didn't want to get the upgraded version got them on 4th of July so you know got a little discount and I wasn't supposed to buy them right babe? Mm -hmm. so you know I had to make it work one way or another but this one goes to a brown for your daytime uh, daytime running light. So it'll light up this and those three strips. So I'm gonna connect that. And this harness goes to your original. I don't have a Denali. So that means I won't be using this. I'm almost sure that's what this is for, which I don't have, you know, I don't have a Denali. So this is, this comes with no, 
no parking light, uh, no nice LED. So, connect this here. And then you connect this one to this guy. I am gonna put tape, tape on these two. Just, just so no, just so it doesn't get dirty one day if I go to sell them. But I'm going to snap it in just to show you guys how it looks before we install it, 100%. This is, this is gonna be the unlock feature. So, brights up. So I'm gonna remote start the truck. You see the nice clean. I am gonna change that to an HID bulb. And I'm gonna put the turn signal so you guys can see how it looks. I like them. They look really good. Nice. So I'm gonna finish up this side and uh, probably walk you guys on, on on the left side real quick. But I'm gonna put this side together, take off the pla the uh, the film, and finish finish it up. Like I said, I'm gonna be riding around for um, for a day or two with the yellow halogen bulb. Uh, it's a H7, so if you guys get these without uh, LED integrated in them, it's, it is a H7 bulb. So don't think you could use your factory bulb because that's what I was thinking. And I would go LED, which a lot of people do, but since I do have a Morimoto uh, HID kit, I do have a Morimoto HID kit, and you know I've always been a big fan of Morimoto and uh, they make quality stuff. So that's why I'm not just gonna throw any any LED in there. So let me finish it up. Uh, pretty much step to put it back. It's, you know, everything you guys took off, same way. I'm sure we're gonna do a time lapse on that. So it's four bolts on the headlight. Make sure it clicks in. So even now, it's pretty much secure because of the clip. But. All right, so this piece, all right, this piece is, is a pain in the ass to get. So you kind of have to, since it goes like this, it's kind of like a L, like this. So you kind of have to feed it and then push it in and then it'll snap in place. Here's another part that gets, that I've never seen on YouTube get put back. Remember there's one more bolt to put there. Just make sure all the clips pop up to the headlight. So this. This piece has double sided tape. So you remove this and then put new tape. So 
so you want to scrape this off or peel it Let me see that piece. This is the piece that holds the trim. I've seen a lot of people, you know, say add double sided tape, but I'm guessing that's why they don't show it because it is a pain in the ass to get off. So is it, since it is clipped, and screwed on. I don't think you have to go too clean on it. Or maybe some people don't even don't even add add it back. Double sided tape. So this stuff I got from uh, the camera a camera kit. They sent me a whole bunch of. Uh, stickers double-sided tape for the camera for the GoPro it's a stack and I just kept them so whenever I do need to use 3m and there's little pieces like this instead of bringing out the 3m roll I'll just use this I mean, feel like it works better than the three it is 3m double-sided tape but I feel like for some reason this works better than the than the roll so st stick it on there. Like I said, maybe people don't don't do this because it's not needed, since it is uh, bolted down with two screws with that T6 and that seven millimeter. But I have seen uh, everyone says put double-sided tape. So put the new double-sided tape. That dirty the 3M. It's okay. You slide it, slide it in. I think this has to go this way. Kind of angle. Yeah, this has to go kind of angled so it meets this groove. Yeah. Pop in the clips. Just press it there. So then you put the T6 back on, and then the seven millimeter here, which I think that's why people don't, if they don't do the 3M, because this, when it tightens up, it's there. So T6. And then the seven. That's why people don't do 3M, but we did it, so. So the headlight's on. And it looked clean. Mm -hmm. For the price, I mean, you can't beat it. Like I said, I've always liked Morimoto's, but close to 1,500 bucks. And these are four and some change, close to 500 bucks. Has a sequential daytime running light, so it's neat. Alpha of Rex, so T Rex or something. So now we're gonna do the left side. So same thing, four bolts, four bolts on the headlight, one for this trim. I think we're gonna do a time lapse on this, and then I'll put back together and show you guys how I'm gonna run this. Same deal, you'll have this one for the uh, for the left headlight if you don't have a daytime running light. So, 
yeah let me let me get to work on the left side but right side is done i mean the your guys is right the, the driver's side is done looks really clean and yeah, I, I like it She does help out. She's the one behind the scenes making it happen. So same, plug this up and this one goes to this headlight. So I'm gonna run this one through this little hole. Then tape these up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you guys how to run it just because I don't have wire but this fuse you're gonna tap into 54 which is your daytime running light on this side so we're gonna extend this run it again through here or you can run it through the back which I might do it through here come down and go into this fuse box. Fuse 39, which is the ignition, miscellaneous ignition. So 38, 30, let me look for it. I hope this one, this panel is is the one uh, for our trucks, for the GM. If not, you guys look for 39 on here. My, uh, when they did a service at GMC, they didn't put this on right. And the other day I was looking down here and I saw this exposed, so I had to order one. But 39 looks like it is 39. So it would be right under uh, no this 10 right under the uh, resistor so 39 right there i did i think this is the right cap so you'll tap that fuse into there and there'll be your uh it, it should leave your daytime running lights on, uh, on whenever you have your automatic lights off so we're gonna look around see if there's any wire if I am, I'm gonna do it. If not, I'll do it the day I do the HIDs, but uh, I'm gonna close the hood, show you guys how they ended up coming out. I liked them. Uh, 
even though wife he was mad because I bought them. <laughs> but she liked them, so that's a good thing. I'm not gonna close my hood all the way. Well, actually, I'll close it just so you guys can see. I have, I have this stuff here. And I'm just gonna tuck, you could just tuck this or double sight this. I guess this is also a, either a resistor or a module for the headlights. So, I'm gonna close the hood. Give it a little wipe. So one thing I didn't notice with the chrome headlights, the original headlights, is that the grill kind of goes into it. It's hard getting used to. I thought I was tripping at first, but it does. So that's uh, how they look. Put the truck on. Ignore the ugly halogen bulb. I am going to switch that. And then I will do that mark. guys so this is the end of the video thank you guys for checking it out i hope you guys enjoyed the how-to on the alpha rex headlights from uh 2015 to 2018 gmc sierra 1500 25 3500 uh, i really like the way they came out there's some really good headlights for you know for for what uh for the for the price there's i mean you can't beat it if you want to go with the pro series led which i didn't want to do that or they have a nova series which is like up there with morimoto but they are really clean they came out good they're good to go uh also guys if you could also subscribe hit the like button and if you guys want to see any any other type of videos with our cars comment down below uh shoot me a dm and uh we'll, we'll get some videos planned out also show season has started so some something uh something we definitely want to do we're gonna bring you guys uh with us show you guys what it is to get you know prep for a show register for a show and uh you know get ready for the show before we put the cars in there so we're gonna do that hope you guys like this video stay tuned for the next one peace